Hello and welcome to the ETF Super Pit Hit. My name is Noah Warsaw of Group One Trading and I'm coming to you from the Super Pit here at SIBO. Today, right out of the gate, we saw TZA call buyers on the May 6 and May 7 lines. For those of you not familiar, TZA is the Direction Fund's small cap, triple short ETF. So what these people are betting on is a sell off in the market and commensurately a move higher in the underlying price of TZA. We saw roughly 2,000 calls trade on the 6 line and about 1,500 trade on the 7 line. Stocks basically unchanged from 585 since then, but implied vol has been pushed a little bit higher by those call buyers. And we saw the 15 cent kind, those are the 7s, now 17 cent bid. And I actually just sold a few a moment ago. Now, um, overall the story is vol up slightly as commensurate with TZA, but we're seeing some very interesting things happening in emerging markets especially. Goldman Sachs came in and was sizing up a June 37, 41 put spread. They were looking to buy it. The crowd's market was 77 cent bid at 83 cents. Goldman was an 80 cent interested buyer and nobody in the crowd cared to sell it. As of now, that trade has not yet hit the tape. However, it appears Goldman's shopping this put spread in hopes of hedging some of their downside risk in iShares emerging markets. XLF, uh, which has been a name we've been following very closely, volatility in June continues to pull back, down from 22 to 21, driven largely by sellers of options at the money. Uh, we've seen realized vol in XLF perform uh, much poorly compared to implieds, and short Vega has definitely been the play. However, with the Goldman Sachs news last Friday, we saw a huge explosion in implied vol and a big commensurate sell-off in the financials. So consequently, we're seeing uh, higher implied vol levels than we've seen historically. That nonetheless, uh, the hard side of the trade right now is certainly to sell options. Um, everybody in the world out there is trying to get short this thing, and vol's been crashing in like you wouldn't believe. Uh, that's basically been the story for the last year, if you wanna, if you wanna be technical. But in reality, XLF is kind of an unusual case simply because there's so much uncertainty involving uh, future financial legislation. And because of that, the pullback in vol could be seen as unusual. XLF is the one everyone's watching. iShares, EEM, um, emerging markets is definitely a clear driver of the broad market as a whole. So it's interesting to see the put spread, interested put spread buyer there. And then TZA was just retail investors trading it making a trade on a huge bearish move in the market. We'll see how those calls work out for them. Implied vol certainly low, so they've got that on their side. But uh, they've got five weeks till expiration, so we'll see how it ends up. I hope you all are having a great trading day, and thank you so much again for joining us.